Dr. Anuj Sharma is a public health professional and has worked with more than 18 of WHO country offices, two regional offices, and WHO headquarters, facilitating development of national policies, strategies, action plans, and WHO technical documents on antimicrobial resistance, laboratories, blood safety, e-health, and infection prevention and control. In 2008, he transitioned from a career in clinical microbiology to a full-time public health sector when he joined WHO country office for India as the technical officer for laboratory surveillance, AMR, and health information. He coordinated many action plans and surveillance programs such as INSA, Indian Network for Surveillance on Antimicrobial Resistance. He's currently working at the IV, um, WHO country office for India. Thank you, sir. Okay, now I'll go to Dr. Sharma's questions directly. Okay, so may I begin? Please go ahead. So we are excited to have you on the panel. WHO has declared that antimicrobial resistance is one of the top 10 global public health threats we are facing nowadays. What is new about the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week this year? And what is WHO India doing about it? As you've uh, already said, uh, WHO identifies antimicrobial resistance as a global priority. It's a slow moving pandemic. It's not as uh, fast as the current COVID pandemic, but the number of deaths and the illnesses caused due to antimicrobial resistance are very high. The new things in the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week are that henceforth the dates for the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week have been frozen as 18th to 24th November every year. Previously, these dates used to vary as the third week of November in which 18th November had to be a part of it. Uh, second major change is uh, the previous five uh, World Antibiotic Awareness Weeks, the terminology has changed. Previously, the emphasis was antibiotic awareness. From this year, the theme is antimicrobials handle with care. So the theme has expanded to include not just the antibacterials, but also antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitics. WHO India is working with our partners for uh, spreading awareness about antimicrobial resistance. We are working with the Delhi government for along with the DSPRUD, which is a civil society organization, and NCDC, the National Center for Disease Control, in uh, organizing an antimicrobial awareness campaign in school children, in Delhi school children. Uh, and this is an online campaign using the science teachers in the schools and the school's uh, online teaching portal. In addition, we are also uh, partnering with the Medical Students Association of India for their antimicrobial awareness uh, campaign. And that will run on till uh, I think Jan and Feb of next year. Uh, in addition, uh, we are also engaging with a number of other uh, partners uh, for spreading awareness about antimicrobial resistance. We've already adapted some of the resources developed by WHO headquarters for India, and we will be sharing them through our website with all our partners. So that's in brief what we are planning for World Antimicrobial Awareness Week. Thank you, sir. Um, the next question is quite similar. Sir, why is surveillance on AMR is important and what are WHO India intends to do for it? Uh, surveillance of uh, antimicrobial resistance is a critical area and, and this has been prioritized in the global action plan as well as India's national action plan and the state action plans. The reason is quite simple. Uh, the surveillance of AMR is important to A, first of all, uh, benchmark the AMR levels in the institution at the local level, at the state level, the national level and the global level. This helps us to monitor whether the interventions for AMR have been effective or not. So it provides an indicator to uh, the health policy makers to see and evaluate whether the interventions are 
successful or not. And secondly, it's uh, very, very useful for advocacy purposes to raise awareness about AMR and uh, use it for uh, prioritizing action against AMR as well. India, uh, the WHO India office established the Indian Network for Surveillance of Antimicrobial Resistance in 2008, uh, starting with uh, 20 uh, institutions all over India who came together to start sharing data on AMR. And this network continued for four years, published two papers, started with two organisms, and then expanded to uh, six organisms and led to a couple of publications. Subsequently, uh, the, uh, the NCDC and the ICMR started their national surveillance networks. And WHO India has also uh, coordinated the establishment of three state level surveillance networks. One in Maharashtra called Mahasar, the Maharashtra Surveillance of Antimicrobial Resistance Network, Another one in Kerala, CarsNet. Uh, this was primarily, and uh, uh, the CarsNet actually was already there. WHO helped to standardize it and expand the network and gave it the acronym CarsNet, Kerala Antimicrobial Resistance Surveillance Network. And the third network is uh, Vinsar D, WHO IMM Network for Surveillance of Antimicrobial Resistance in Delhi. Uh, this is in partnership with the Indian Association of Medical Microbiologists, Delhi chapter. So we are uh, working on AMR surveillance and all these uh, activities are expected to uh, not just uh, yield uh, an impact at the local institution level, but at the state level and the national level as well. And in due course, this data will be shared with NCDC for onward sharing with the uh, the WHO Global AMR Surveillance System called GLASS. Okay, sir. 